What's up, beard community? This is Bruno for another Baby to Beard where I'm showing you in real time my beard growth process. And today I will be talking about beard supplements. Yeah. So your beard needs nutrients to grow and I'm talking about vitamins and minerals. You can either get them externally with our beard products or internally with supplements. If you have a balanced diet, then you're probably already supplying enough nutrients to your body and beard. Because remember, healthy body, healthy beard. But our lives and diets aren't always perfect and sometimes we need an extra boost. And this is where supplements come in. You probably have taken a multivitamin complex at a point or another in your life. And more recently, you might have heard about beard supplements. I gotta tell you, I was pretty skeptical about these beard supplements because they sounded more like a marketing ploy than anything else. And after doing multiple comparisons of ingredients, I gotta say, you should be pretty skeptical too. Now, I won't be naming any brands in particular, but I gotta tell you that the majority of these beard supplements are just overpriced and underdosed multivitamin supplements trying to capitalize on the beard community. Plenty of these supplements are very low quality and most of the times you can get a much higher quality vitamin complex that is also more complete and might cost the same or even less. But again, if you have a balanced diet and you don't have any vitamin deficiencies, in my honest opinion, you don't really need to take those. Now, there are some supplements that have been speculated to help with beard growth, and one of them is biotin. To the best of my knowledge, there are no studies that show that biotin increases beard growth. What biotin does is improve the keratin structure of your beard, preventing it from getting damaged and making it grow healthier. It's definitely something that you should consider adding to your diet because not only it helps your beard grow healthier, but also your hair and your nails, but it is by no means a magical do-it-all pill for beard growth. There are so many factors that influence beard growth that there is no single pill or supplement that will significantly increase it. You might hear some anecdotal evidence here and there, especially from some sketchy beard care companies that are trying to sell these beard supplements, but the truth is there are no significant studies that link a pill or a supplement with an increase in beard growth. Now, there are several things that you can do to improve your beard growth that are essentially free. Number one, get enough sleep. Studies have shown that something like around seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep will keep your hair and beard growing steadily. If you don't get enough sleep, your immune system suffers, which leads to a slowed growth in hair loss over time. Number two, take a chill pill. And by that, I mean lower your stress. Stress really affects your immune system, and when it suffers, like I said before, your hair and beard growth also suffer. I get it, you might have a stressful job or life, but that stress is manageable. Mindfulness, meditation, yoga or general exercise are great ways of doing so and that I personally do. Number three, eating a well-balanced diet, low in sugar and with enough protein. I cannot stress this enough. If for some reason your lifestyle doesn't allow you to do so, then by all means, take one of those multivitamin complex pills. But you should always do frequent checkups and consult your doctor or nutritionist before wasting your money and ending up with nothing but expensive pee. Now remember that genetics play a huge role in your beard growth, but also keep in mind that your beard keeps developing throughout your 20s and into your early 30s. A large number of men that we've spoken to only really start liking their beard around six to eight weeks of growth. That's enough time for your empty spots to be filled and for your beard to be long enough so that you can more easily brush it or comb it and shape it to your face and your style. So as I always say, it's all about patience. Now I'd love to hear in the comments down below what are you doing right now to have a healthier beard? If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up so that other barbudos can also find these tips. Also, if you want to keep following my Baby to Beard series in near real time, please subscribe. As always, feel free to ask us any questions in the comments. Until next time, may the beard be with you.